government of Cambodia's longtime Prime Minister Hun Sen has beefed up security in the capital Phnom Penh following last week's deadly clashes with striking workers. Authorities have also banned public gatherings throughout the country. It looks like a war zone. There are weapons and soldiers. I saw 10 to 20 trucks full of soldiers go by. It doesn't look good. Weeks-long protests by workers, opposition supporters and other disgruntled segments of society have threatened Hun Sen's rule. The Cambodian strongman has been in power for nearly three decades. They're using soldiers to crack down on the Cambodian people. We can see with our own eyes that the authorities are not protecting our borders, but instead they're using the soldiers to kill us. Military police shot and killed at least four people on Friday when a rally by striking garment workers turned violent. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cambodian police have released five activists who were detained Monday after they called for the release of anti-government protesters arrested last week. All I did when the authorities arrested me was present a petition at the French embassy. We didn't protest. There were only five of us. Then the authorities forcibly arrested me. Tepfani told RFA that she will continue to protest, despite government warnings to stop. 